like and subscribe. All right, fine. We'll do this. We'll do this one react. All right, 12 most terrible DC creatures you deep sea creatures you've never seen before. So if I have seen any of these creatures, then the video is immediately null and void. Let's begin. And you'll have amazing luck for the rest of the week. No way. While everyone's obsessed with aliens, they forget the ocean depths housing the most bizarre creatures. If you run into any of these deep sea creatures mentioned in this video, you won't forget the experience in a hurry. No these way. 12 Barrelai fish. No fucking way. Also called the spook fish. The barrelai fish is, is a deep sea dweller with an incredible adaptation. I feel like I've been told that the barrelai fish is called the spook fish a hundred times and I still forget. ...to see in pitch black waters. They're easily identified by their transparent head. Yeah, they're adorable. This head carries two glowing green eyes pointed at the cloud. They feed on small crustaceans and other small organisms that are unfortunate <laughs> enough... I love the face. I know it's not their actual face, but it is really funny. ...to be trapped in the tentacles of its siphonophores. Scientists say the transparent layer covering They look sad. I think sometimes they do look like contemplating. Like, they look like a little, like, goth, like a little upset about things. But also, I think they're kind of cute. They're also finless, except for the Dalicopteryx, which has pectoral fins that have a wing-like appearance. Yo. The largest known barrel life. Wait, he just played that trap. Did he get in, get the food, and get out? Which has pectoral fins that have get a wing-like appearance. Damn, that was sick. Shout out to that fish. Are the spots in the front remains of where their eyes used to be before they went inside their head? That's a good question. They might be nostrils. It's hard to tell. Some fish have, like, big nostrils. It might just be nostrils. The largest known barrel life fish is the javelin. Well, actually, they don't really look like nostrils, but it could be. Because if you imagine that the eyes are supposed to be, like, here and here on the side of the head... This would be like a reasonable place for there to be nostrils, but who knows, it's a deep sea fish, it could be anything. Goblin shark. No fucking way, dude. Goblin sharks are rare deep sea creatures, often referred to as living fossils because of their dinosaur-like appearance. These They're creatures, cute. The shark's protrusible mouth is its most distinguishing factor. The oh. mouth can retract to a position under the eye or- so cute. Look at him. His teeth are all fucked up and he's still adorable. And forward under the snout. They extend their jaws forward faster than any other shark species when feeding. Thankfully, Sick. this shark isn't dangerous to humans. They just, they go from like normal shark to like grandma spitting out her dentures <laughs> in like 0.2 seconds. It's sick. Tardigrade. What? Terrible deep sea creatures and it's fucking the water bear? What? Tardigrade are nearly microscopic organisms that live in ocean depths. Terrible deep sea creatures? How are you going to put a, a water bear? They're so adorable. Aren't water bear like on the surface, like in moss and stuff? I don't know if they're in the deep sea or not, but even if they are, how is it a terrible deep sea creature? They're adorable and microscopic, and they cause no harm. ...of nearly 15,000 meters. Researchers say they can transform into a ton or dehydrated ball to protect themselves. Tons can survive extreme. I love the animations that have them as like with little paddle feet. There's no way they're actually moving around like that. Like I've seen them like in a microscope and everything like that. They're not like swimming in the water like that. They do move their legs in a cute way though. As you this video isn't as bad as the other ones. Well, that's just because it's just stating facts. The title makes no sense and is clickbait. And the things that are in the video make no sense and are clickbait. But like it's stating factual information. So it's not that bad, I guess. Sea spider. Even a garden spider can scare anyone to their bones. Oh, How I much love more sea spiders. Sea, spider. sea spiders creep on the ocean floor. Fucking Christ, that's horrifying. God, I hate them so much. I tried to say that I like them. I tried to keep a straight face and be like, no, 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 it's cool. I like them. I love sea spiders. They're so good. They're so cool. They're so interesting. It fucks me up. I'm even cool with spiders. I spent years getting over my fear of my phobia of spiders. I'm cool with spiders. I love them. I grabbed a jumping spider the other day. I let him on my hand so that I could take him outside because he was in the house. My grandmother wanted to kill him. I took him outside nicely. Jumping spiders are adorable. This thing this is fucked up. This does not count. And grow about three feet wide. To put this into That's perspective, horrifying. they're the same length as two average house cats. They use their intestines to pump blood because their heart is too small. Okay, that's kind of sick. 
that made me like them more. See, if you just learn some cool, fun facts about any scary animal, you'll, they'll be less scary to you instantly. And are considered arthropods. I'm glad to know you can get rid of phobias. You can do anything if you believe in your ability to change your brain. I know this is off topic from the video, but genuinely, you have a lot of power over your brain. And it can be difficult sometimes to accept that and to convince yourself of that, because that's the first step is you have to be able to understand that you can do that. But you can literally change anything. I have fixed a lot, a lot of like negative things within my brain related to trauma or phobias or other stuff like that just by processing. Okay, I believe I can become a dinosaur. That's not what I meant. I meant like you can emotionally process things to get your, your brain working in a better way. But I can't change my thalassophobia. You can. You don't have to. And no one should judge you for not doing so. But you are capable of getting rid of your phobias. It is possible. I become six foot. I don't think you guys are understanding what I'm saying. Pacific football fish. What? The Pacific football fish was it's discovered adorable. in 1985. I can't. If I experience deep water, I will panic. Well, yeah, obviously, because you have a phobia. That's why you need to get rid of it. You don't just fucking jump into the exposure therapy does not really work. It can, but it usually will just traumatize you or make it worse. Exposure therapy is not the solution to phobias. This light it emits is the creepy music is just not necessary. Look at how adorable this is to lure its prey. This terrifying creature lives between 2000 to 3000 feet where light and food are scarce. Their major diet consists of squid and crustaceans. Although Look they... at him! He's a ball! This is a beach ball of a fish. How is his stomach so fat? The teeth are scary? I mean, they're just as scary as any other, like, sharp object like that. They look like moray eel teeth, and none of you guys are scared of moray eels. We all think moray eels are sick. So what's different about this guy? What's the worst case? You get bit, you're not gonna die, you'll be fine. You know what I mean? Who cares? Don't look friendly. They're not dangerous. Frilled shark. No way. The frilled shark. Literally is... every one of these lists is the exact same ten fish. Look... Is there anything more interesting? Oh, but look at him. Grow to twenty-three inches long. They glow even in the lowest light. This shine helps them to camouflage interesting in extremely low light environments. Is because a cookie they can cutter? turn on and off their lights at will. Scientists think this strategy is used to Oh no, it's not a cookie cutter. It's like the, isn't it the smallest shark, the dwarf lantern shark or whatever it is, the the little guy that has the bioluminescence to prey. <laughs> Fang tooth fish. Yep, it's the same fucking fish on every list. Oh, and yep, look at this giant, giant isopod, isopod and it's going to be the exact same footage that they used in that other react video for the giant isopod. No way, it's crabzilla. You might be curious to meet you, the Chili. Japanese spider crab. However, the chances of this dream coming true are slim since they inhabit the ocean's depths. Crabs at all. Japanese Wait, isn't that true spider. of everything? Isn't the video literally called Terrible Deep Sea Creatures? Isn't the chances of you encountering any of these things very rare? I have never encountered any of them. Oh, wait, I've encountered tardigrades, but that's not really deep sea. That's the only one. None of the rest of these fish I've seen in person. Scientists show that this species is the largest arthropod known to man and can live for hundreds of years. These what? crabs are obviously Wait, can they really? Can Japanese spider crabs really live hundreds of years? You need to go find every fish on this list? I'd rather go find the Obama and Jimmy Carter darter. That's funnier. Yes, meaning they can feast on any animal that comes their way. Not only can they tower over you if they want to, but their size makes them the world's that one looks largest up. crab. Although they Is that man in a tiny city? Wait, is he really high up, or is that a f are those fake buildings? Those are fake buildings, right? They live at ocean. What the fuck is going on Their in the background? Size makes them the world's largest. Cr those are fake buildings, but they're like they're like tall enough to convince you. Like it's just it's taller than him. Oh, it's the Crabzilla photo shoot. It's the Lego buildings where they put the, the crab on top of the Lego building and then took the picture to convince everybody that Crabzilla was real. Holy shit, we just got the lore. This is the original footage. Crab. Chimera. How are you scared of a chimera? Come on. Is that the last one? Stargazer is the last one? With over 50 I love stargazers. I think they're adorable. All right, well, the video was fine, I guess. I was one of those videos where it's like, I feel like I wasted my time watching it. <laughs> it wasn't bad, though. It wasn't a particularly bad video, but it wasn't really 
You learned nothing. That one react earlier, we actually learned something today. Aren't chimeras related to Helicorprion? Yeah, they are. They're, um... I think Helicorprion was a, was a chimera, wasn't it? Like, it was within that family or order or whatever it is of Elasmobranks. Alright, that is gonna be all that I do for today. Whoa.